Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Gaming CPH channel. In today's episode we have a fun, fun experience slash experiment trying to create a 1 million horsepower gravity battery setup in our Timberborn playthrough. So first thing we got to do is we got to basically get as far down as we can on the map. So we're blowing up some dynamite proving we are at the bottom of the map. There's a little error message saying you can't build here because you're on the bottom of the map. You can't blow it up anymore. So we've reached the bottom. Now we're going to build all the way to the top on this playthrough and do our best at creating basically the most powerful single battery that we can. And mathematically, you will find out exactly how much that is at the end of this episode. And then we're going to try to replicate that battery and make get us up to 1 million horsepower. And the way we're gonna do it is we have basically a nine by nine grid here, and we are gonna build a big staircase all the way up to the top, as well as platforms to the top of this basically world in this map, and then build some batteries and construct a massive storage system for energy within Timberborn. So we're probably gonna fast forward some of our building parts because it is going to take a while to build this. I have stocked up on storage. I have a bunch of robot golems doing all the work so we don't have to worry about food or anything. They will need to recharge every now and again, but we're going to have a ton of workers working and a lot of resources. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and watch a little bit of a sped up building and planning process. Now, one thing I wanted to highlight is how we found the top of the structure, how we found the top of the map. Basically, I tried to do and build a three tall platform. I was unable to build that. So then what I ended up doing is I removed that and I added a two platform and I was able to build that. But then I tried to build a battery on top of it. Couldn't do that. Dropped it onto one platform, tried to build a battery on top of it. Couldn't do that. So basically, I found that I was at the top of the map and then I built that last battery. And that's what allowed me to know exactly how high I can go on this map. So... The next thing we want to highlight is how we're going to get the power up here. So power can be transferred through buildings and buildings that are connected to buildings will transfer power through them. They don't have to be built in any sort of form or fashion as long as they are connected and it is only certain buildings. So what I end up doing is I end up using a housing building that was four stories tall because that would get up straight up to the top the fastest and it only takes up two grids on the build. So the blueprint is very small. So I end up using that going straight up the middle. Um, and that's going to be what brings the power up to these batteries from my power wheels and my water wheels. So that's how I transfer the power from the base, from the bottom of the map, all the way up to the top where my gravity batteries are currently being stored. And this is what the final product is going to look like based on the blueprint. Now, the next part is the two hour long process of actually building this. So let's go ahead and speed that through a little bit. All right, folks. So the Golems are starting to build. All right, so what we're going to basically do is we're going to start them off with the first floor. Now, the golems are able to build the first floor with no problem because technically the legs of the platform is the important part. They can reach the legs, so therefore they're able to build it. Now, what we're going to end up running into a little bit of a problem here is as they start to build the staircase and they start building up because what they can't do is they can't lean over off to the side of a staircase and build. Now, golems are able to normally build down as far as they want to, but they can't necessarily build up. And what happens is you can see we get a little stranded golem here. All right, what ended up happening is a staircase got built. He no longer could go down because there was a platform built, so he gets stranded. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to technically unstrand him, but we're not too worried about it because there's only two golems there and they look kind of adorable. They kind of look like a little infant or a little child that's pouting. They sit on the ground and they pitter patter their feet. Um, the next thing we notice and I recall is we're going to be dropping these batteries down the side, which means we actually need to blow a ring around the base. So now we go from instead of a nine by nine grid, we have to go into a 10 by 10 grid, which let me tell you, I love the look of the dynamite and the explosions in this. It's such a cool look. And now technically our ring is complete. So what I realized is I'm not getting enough wood. So I end up constructing new distribution posts in our wood farm because we need to increase our lumber intake at our construction district. So I basically end up revamping, destroying a couple sections of some trees and placing some more distribution centers just so we can get some more wood coming in. And of course, I have to increase the number of golems to everyone's favorite number. <laughs> Um, next thing we end up doing is I destroyed the staircase. So what was happening is the beavers were not constructing the second floor because they could not access it. The reason why is the staircase actually blocks them from accessing it. So from this point on, every three staircases, I had to basically pause the staircase or destroy it. That way the beavers could access, build the floor. I then rebuild the staircase, 
go up to th two more stairs, I believe, and then give them access to the next floor. They go out and they build. So I had to be very, very aware of what was going on. At that point, we had some more stranded golems. It is what it is. You know, we try to unstrand them as, as soon as we can to make sense. Um, so last but not least, process is being made slowly but surely and then we end up going into showing you guys the final battery being built right here right now and voila in about 14 seconds no, i'm just kidding here's where we have the final battery and everything is now completed if you want to look at it from a distance it's pretty massive structure now each battery can hold 62,000 power giving us a total of 992,000 power. Now, we have about 4.2 days left, so we're gonna run these batteries for 4.2 days. We consume about 10,000 power a day, or sorry, 10,000 power an hour, giving us 240,000 power a day, if we multiply that by 24. If you divide 240,000 and 992,000, you get about 4.13 days. So we literally should be able to survive just barely this drought or just underneath it. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that and show that. And while that's happening, we're gonna to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. Sponsor of today's video is my amazing supportive wife. Why is that? We only have 200 subs, folks. We're not sponsored by anyone. Uh, we are not able to monetize. So really all the support is coming from my wife and my spouse, who is very supportive of me doing VODs and gaming and streaming. So if you guys want to also be super supportive, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see if we can get up to that thousand sub count so we can start monetizing videos and content alike. Now, we barely survived the video, we barely survived the drought, so what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you my next project a little bit, and that is we need to somehow charge up one million horsepower battery, and that's gonna be difficult. So my next project is gonna be able to build a renewable energy water wheel project so I can charge this structure up. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you liked it and we'll leave a thumbs up on the video, that would be appreciated. And if you haven't yet, you want to subscribe to the channel to showcase some love. I would appreciate that as well. And until next time, everyone, maximize those deductions and pay less in taxes. Have an amazing day.